Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn some of the other elements, form controls. Those are checkboxes and the radio buttons. <clears throat> so these checkboxes and radio buttons are called as in checkable items. So these come under the category of checkable items. So what are these checkable items? Checkable items are controls whose state you can change by clicking on them or their associated labels. So that means instead of writing the value just like how we are writing in the input boxes so but uh, whereas these checkable uh, items so we can say we can get the, we can change the state of the data by clicking on them or on their associated labels also so now in the form in the form in the web forms there are two kinds of checkable items one is the checkbox and the other one is the radio button so both of them use the normal common attribute checked attribute to indicate whether the widget is checked or not that means selected or not by default so this we also has to note that 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 they do not behave exactly the same so for example let's say that the checkbox and the uh, radio button so they do not behave the same way for, ex for most form widgets once the form is submitted all widgets that have a name attribute are sent so normally if they are take uh, input boxes or any other things all the form widgets when you submit the form so they they will uh, with the name attribute whatever the uh, elements we are having the name attribute so they will be sent to the server even if no value is filled out also for example let's say that we have a uh, we we have this one for example let's say, let's say password is there if you go here and we know that email and password we haven't filled anything and now when I, am, when I am trying to submit so even though the input boxes doesn't have any data but the email and password as sent as an empty thing whereas in the case of checkbox items these checkable items like the checkbox and radio button if they are checked only those values only will be sent to the server if they are not checked means not even the name so not even this name also will be sent so for, for example let's say that if it is a defaultly checked means so the value will be sent by with the name of on let's try to see this one how this behaves actually so for example let's say we have a checkbox checkbox is not indicated with the input only so input let's try to remove this one yeah so here i will be writing input so default input is a text box so we need to change it to checkbox uh, sorry input text box we need to change it to checkbox so checkbox normally we will be having id is equal to so whatever the name you want to mention you can mention subscribe and you can have the name is equal to subscribe okay so i will add something like value or otherwise i will not add any value now this is the input type is equal checkbox which is present in the form now if you try to see this one so here we are having a checkbox i am able to check this checkbox or deselect the checkbox so i am able to check this one now i am not checking anything so email and password also i am not writing anything and i am trying to send the value if i try to send the value so you know that this checkbox has a value as a name of subscribe so if you try to see here nah, so there is no value with the name subscribe that has been sent the value why because this checkbox hasn't been checked because of this reason if the no checkbox has been checked means the, the value will not be sent to the server whereas if you try to check it here try to check it and if you try to submit it now the value will be sent with the name subscribe and the value is on okay so the default value for this one if no value is provided for this checkbox is on so whereas for the radio button is also on we'll try to see about the radio button now here you can add your own value so that that particular value will be sent if i check here now the value is sent as s so this is called as an this is the main purpose of this checkbox now normally where we will use this checkbox is let's try to see the normal implementation of this one so here i will be using a field set okay so i will be using a legend and here i will be adding something like choose all the vegetables you like to eat okay so this is the legend i am using now here we can use the ul li and in this li what i will try to do is we will have an input type is equal to checkbox okay so if you want to group all the checkbox at your event means we need to give the name same name 
same name value for the all the check boxes so here i will use the vegetable and the value vegetable and the value for this one is carrot let's say so carrots and here i can give the label carrots okay the id for this one is also carrots we need to maintain the id also carrots so here you can use id is equal to carrots so this is the first checkbox we will be having now let's try to see the output how it will look like now here i am having a choose all vegetables you would like to eat. carrots is the first one so if i click on this label or if i click on this checkbox also it is checked the value for this one is carrot now the same scenario i can have another li item so the name should be same only why because these two represent the same items i want to send the multiple for this vegetable thing and here i can add something like <coughs> piece okay i can add this piece and here also i can use this piece now if you try to see here so these two check boxes is selected so he, here the user can able to select these two check boxes now here i will add another one another last thing so cabbage i will use the cabbage and here also i will use the cabbage and this is this per loop all uh, this per attribute also we need to use the cabbage whatever the id you provided for that particular input only now if i try to see the output so now we are having the three check boxes now we want to send these three values for the same name we need to maintain the same menu so for example if i selected only carrots and cabbage if we try to submit it the vegetable name is carrying vegetable is equal to carrots and vegetable is equal to cabbage so these are the two items that has been selected so this is how we will be implementing the checkbox in the html thing so if you want to select it by default you can use the checked attribute here so checked attribute is being used now if you try to see automatically the cabbage will be checked if you want to use all the items as checked means whatever the items you want it as checked you can use the checked item here if you try to submit it defaultly so these two checked items will be sent so this is how we can use the checkbox in our html thing and also we can have the disabled attribute also so that we can disable that particular checkbox thing so now when it is disabled so only the cabbage will be sent why because whatever the disabled things whether it is checked or not checked also so those are it uh, those are disabled itself the form will not send the value to this one okay the read only attribute will not work for this one let's try to see whether it will work or not it will don't know so we will see read only attribute will work or not most probably read only attribute will not work for this type of things it will work only for the input elements only so that is the thing about the check boxes now i want only the i want to make the user only to select only one of the options so i need to rather than selecting multiple options here i i want to make the user to select only one of the option out of these things so for those type of scenarios we we can use this radio button so radio button is also use created using the input element but with its type attribute set to the value radio let's try to see the implementation of this radio so normally the radio button we can use using input type is equal to radio okay and the name is equal to some uh, some name you can use it and here also this is the how you will be having so for the radio button instead of having the square boxes default you will be having the round round thing the round it will be indicated so here the radio button indicates that the user can able to select only one option out of the options available so he cannot select the multiple options like the check box and here also if you want to check if, if you are if you are re, if, if you are refreshing this one if you refresh these things okay so now if you want to uh, make this one as default check means so you can use the same thing checked option only how you are using for the checkbox you can use this one now if you try to see that radio button is, is automatically selected now let's try to see the implementation of this one checkbox how we can implement this uh, radio button so here i am using the same concept uh, instead of having this one i am using the field set so here i will be using legend so here i can ask that what is your favorite meal okay so that the user has the user can select only one meal out of this one so i will use the same thing ul li and in this one i will use the input this time we need to use the radio button okay 
so radio button and we need to use the name attribute for this one so here i can use something like meal okay the value you want to use means you can use this as soup okay the label for this one i want to apply label is soup okay so here the for loop for or sorry not the for loop so the for attribute will be soup and you need to mention the id for this one is also as soup now let's copy the same thing and i will use the same option but a different thing same radio button but a different option that is nothing but curry i can use this but name option should be the same name attribute should be the same value why because these two hand is the same what the favorite meal concept so here i can use another one as pizza i can use the name as the value as pizza and here also pizza so pizza and here it will be curry right so here also the for loop should be curry now let's try to see the output if you try to see the output that what we need to select what is your favorite meal so we need to select only one option out of this one so for example if i select soup soup will be selected for example if you try to select the curry only the option will be changed to from soup to curry not soup and curry both will be selected so if you want to make this one to both selected means we need to use the checkbox concept or otherwise we need to use this radio box concept now the user can select only one option out of these three options so this is in this scenario we will be using this radio button for example let's say that we have changed these all things to some other names so now these three names are different now these three radio buttons behave in a different way that so the user can select the three options now these three are independent to each other if you want to tie by a tight bind lead these three radio buttons means we need to use the same name attribute so that we can as a, the user can select only one option out of this thing now if you try to send the value now you are here you'll be able to see meal is equal to soup whatever the value it is selected now for example let's say that you have selected the option and you want to reset it so there is no way option to reset this one so until and unless uh, you, you need to use the reset button then you need to submit the form or otherwise you need to reset the uh, form so we'll see about this reset option also so if once it is selected means there is no way to deselect this one in the re in the radio button whereas in the cabbage you can select and deselect it but whereas in this one if you once you are selected means so there is no option until you unless you reset the form or submit the form so we cannot we cannot deselect the radio button so this is all about the radio buttons and also you can have uh, what i can say the disable attribute the same for this one also disable attribute so that it will be disabled okay these are the common things you can use it so these these are the these are the radio buttons concept so this is the difference between this checkbox and the radio button checkbox means you can select the multiple options whereas if you want to make it uh, use the select the only one option means you can use this radio button so the name itself uh, uses this radio button but actually the radio button isn't actually a radio button despite its name uh, so we will have the actual buttons but this name itself is a radio button but these are not actually the uh, type of buttons okay so this is all about this checkable items like checkbox and the radio button which are supported in the html hope you understood about this thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you